and welcome back to Miss Riley's Maths videos. I'm working through week four of the Form 1 Algebra Booklet from high school in Rathgar. Um, I'm working here through the solutions and the solutions are also posted on Teams. So going through this, we're going to simplify means add together the things that are the same. We've got J's, so that's going to be 17J, 12J plus 5J, oh and another 10J. So actually we've got 27. 12 and 10 is 22 and 5 is 27J. And we also have minus 13K plus 7K is minus 6K. Again, simplifying here, I've got X's, I've got Y's, and I've got numbers. So 13X minus 16X is minus 3X, minus 7Y plus 9Y is plus 2Y, and 4 minus 15 is minus 11. Here I've got a squared, and a squared is minus 4a squared, plus 6a squared is plus 2a squared, minus 5a and plus 2a is minus 3a, and 12 minus 16 is minus 4. Here I have 8m squared and 4m squared is 12m squared, plus 4m and minus 4m is 0m, and minus 9 minus 5 is minus 14, so 12m squared minus 14. If a equals minus 2, b equals 4, and c equals 7, find the value of 3abc. So 3abc means 3 times a times b times c. So that's going to be 3 times minus 2 times 4 times 7. So that's minus 6 times 4 is minus 24 times 7 is minus 168, I think. You can check in your calculator. 2c squared is going to be 2 multiplied by c squared, so 7 squared, minus 4 multiplied by minus 2 by uh, 4. Now actually I normally would write that like this, because just I think all the x's get a bit confusing. So 2 by 7 squared is 2 by 49, which is 98. Minus 4 by minus 2 is plus 8 by 4 is plus 32. So 98 plus 32 is 130. And then twice 3a minus 2b squared plus 10c. So this is a bit nasty. So 2 by 3a, 3 times minus 2, minus 2 times b squared, so 4 squared, plus 10 times c, so 10 times 7. So 2 times minus 6, minus 2 times 16, plus 70. So 2 times minus 6 minus 32 plus 70. So that's 2 times minus 38 plus 70 will be um, minus 38 plus 70 will be 32. So 2 times 32, which is 64. Hopefully that's right. I'm sure you'll tell me if it's not. Um, let me just check that. So I've got minus 6 minus... 32 is minus 38, 70 minus 38 is, yeah, 32, okay. Simplify by multiplying the terms together, 3 by 8, so I multiply the big numbers together, 3 by 8 is 24, and there's no number in that for me to multiply by, x to the power of 4 by x to the power of 3 is x to the power of 7 by x is x to the power of 8 t squared by t squared is t to the power of 4 by t to the power of 5 is t to the power of 9 and a by a is a squared by a is a cubed so 28 x to the power of 8 t to the power of 9 a cubed simplify by expanding the brackets and collecting like terms so 5 w plus 5 by 3 is 15 5 by w 5 by 3 Minus 5 by 3w is minus 15w, and minus 5 by minus 10 is plus 50. So I have minus 10w, that and that going together, and 15 plus 50 is 65. Simplify by expanding the brackets and collecting like terms together. So I can either do an array, so I have x plus 4 by x minus 10, so x squared minus 10x plus 4x minus 40, so x squared minus 6x minus 40, 
4, I can just do x by x is x squared, x by minus 10 is minus 10x, plus 4 by x is plus 4x, and plus 4 by minus 10 is minus 40, so x squared minus 6x minus 40. Solve each of these equations, and make sure you show your methods. So I'm going to get x's on this side, numbers on this side. So I'm subtracting 8 from each side. 7x is equal to minus 21, divide by 7, because 7 times x is minus 21, so x must be tw minus 21 divided by 7, which is minus 3. 2 by x is 2x, 2 by 1 is 2. I have to multiply out these brackets first before I can solve. So just don't forget minus 3 by minus 1 is plus 3. So I have minus x plus 5 is equal to 9. Do you notice how I put things together first before I try and solve? Because otherwise I have lots of things to move around. So minus x is equal to 4. So divide by minus 1, x must equal minus 4. Okay, I hope that's useful. Thank you.